good morning. It's Monday morning and I have been up for about you know, a little over an hour. Just finished editing and got the kids off to school. Dan actually took them to school today. He has the day off, but he has something to do. So I, we'll, we'll be able to hang out probably later in the day, but it's not like he's home with us all day. So anyways, I am going to export this. I'm gonna have some breakfast. And then I'd like to take the boys and go to that farmer's market that I talked about yesterday. Farmer's market. It's like a little grocery store. So we're gonna do that. It's kind of gloomy and gray out, but Mommy, we're gonna- Mommy, you tell us now that have toys now or just food? Just food. Mm, boring. Boring. Mm. So for breakfast, I'm having some eggs and avocado and some sauerkraut, which I haven't actually tried in the morning yet but i just felt like having it today with my coffee of course and my little boys all right we are all cleaned up and ready to head out to the farmer's market got my video uploaded and did the thumbnail and all that so we're gonna go head out All right, we are back. Here is our haul. I'm very, very excited to have all this in the house. And I, like I showed in some of the clips, the prices are so good. And I did get eggs and milk and some cheese. So everything together was $95, which is kind of high. But when you factor in those things, like the rest of the produce was pretty affordable. So these bell peppers were 79 cents. This bag was $1.99. Spaghetti squash, carrots. I'm excited about these. Japanese sweet potatoes, I think is what they're called. They're the ones that are like purpley on the outside and then white on the inside. I don't know if I've ever had them, but I'm excited to give them a try. And I also got regular sweet potatoes or yams really is what they are. These bags of onions were only 99 cents. And this, these are some beets, which I think I'm the only one in the house that really loves beets, but I love to roast them. I think they're delicious. I got a ton of radishes, which my, my kids like to eat raw, but I also do roast them and like put some herbs on it and shave some cheese and they're really good. And then blueberries, strawberries were two for three, but they are very ripe. So I think these are gonna have to be used up like right away or frozen. I got three packages of mushrooms. These are some red pears, lettuce, two eggplants. Lemons were four for a dollar, limes were three for a dollar, which is just an okay price, but still way better than, you know, local grocery stores. We got some raw cashews, spring mix, and arugula. I think I wanna make a big salad for lunch because I just wanna eat all this delicious fresh produce. They had some nice looking pastas. So I got this one that, I don't know, just looked very natural and healthy. And then this one Luke picked out, which is just such an interesting shape. I was just telling Dan, that looks like a good like creamy sauce kind of pasta. And then we got plums and Brussels sprouts, fennel, which I also love to roast, some celery, some dill, which is hard to find fresh. I mean, you can get it at really any grocery store, but like Aldi doesn't have it fresh. And then I think I got six or eight, one, two, three, six cucumbers, because they were three for a dollar. And then I got four zucchinis, which I, again, will also roast. And then I think that was everything. And then, like I said, I got four dozen organic eggs, some feta cheese, and then three half gallons of milk. So that was everything we got today. Every time that I go to this farmer's market, I tell myself, why don't I go more often? Because it is a little bit of a drive to get out there. That's why I don't go. And I just make things easy by shopping like at one store. But the prices really are just, I mean, you can't beat them. So now that I've done this big haul, really the only few things we'll need, we can just get at Aldi or Walmart or whatever. So if I just like, put this into my routine, it could be easier, but then summer's coming up, so that's gonna make it more challenging. But it was fine with the two boys. Um, Jude fell asleep on the way there, 
but then he woke up so that worked out and then now he is napping so i'm gonna put this away and then make some lunch all right so to make my salad i made the dressing in the bowl that i'm gonna use it's just olive oil balsamic a little mustard a little honey salt and pepper and a little dash of water just to thin it out just a little bit you could also add like orange juice or some other juice that you have and then i'm going to just top it with tons of of different basically making like a rainbow salad so i'm gonna have some orange carrot some red cabbage i'm gonna put in some strawberries and some peppers cucumber and then i'll mix together a little bit of each of these greens and then some feta and maybe something else for like protein i'm not quite sure all right so there's my base looking delicious and then i'll put the greens on and then mix it all together but it just looks so pretty when you have it all separated like that oh and i did add we had just a tiny little bit of like deli sliced ham so i put that in for a little extra protein dan's over here making some beautiful eggs mm. warming up some sourdough bread it's hard to see with this light there it is is this the last of it I, was, it I guess we'll have to make another I also threw some sweet potato in the oven just to meal prep them, just to have them on hand. So they just came out. I do like 400 degrees for about 50 minutes. And so those are perfect. I just pierced them to check that they're all cooked through. So once those cool down, I just pop them in the fridge and eat them throughout the week. And then I just pulled some chorizo sausage patties out of the freezer. I'm gonna let those kind of start to defrost. I'll put it on a plate. This is just here on the counter to bring out to recycling. So we'll let that thaw. And now that we have all these delicious vegetables in the house, I think I'm just gonna do like a sausage and veggie mixture and then put it over rice. Pretty simple. I will probably also start some sourdough tonight to have bread tomorrow. Dan is just in love with it, so I'm really happy about that. I think it's delicious too, and it was so easy. So I'm gonna take my starter out and then probably feed it sometime today. All right, heading out for school pickup, and I decided to make a smoothie. I just really was craving it. We had all those fresh strawberries, and I had some cacao nibs, so I blended that and added in about a small frozen banana and some frozen riced cauliflower with some unsweetened vanilla almond milk and got this little smoothie concoction so i'm gonna drink that while i head out all right back home i filled up my gas tank and now i'm having an iced coffee i switched over some laundry and now i'm going to the kids like you know empty their lunch boxes had a snack and now i'm gonna do bible study with the girls it is now somehow already five o'clock, so I'm gonna get started making dinner. And I've been chatting with my um, Instacart driver. I placed an order for Aldi, and I just, I don't even know what is gonna show up at our door. He was sending me photos of like, oh, they don't have, you know, what you requested in stock. Do you want something else in this photo? And it'd be like, the thing I asked for is in the photo. So I said, yeah, like I want that. But I don't even know. It, it said that a bunch of things were refunded, so I might have to wind up picking up a few things, like chicken. Like I did like two different types of chicken and he refunded both of them, so I don't even know. We're gonna see what shows up better door. But I'm gonna go ahead and start making dinner, start roasting some veggies, and get this kind of put together pretty quick. Alright, groceries are here. No chicken to be seen, no rice cauliflower, so I'm just gonna have to get those another time. But I'll briefly show you what we got. This is my favorite, like, non animal milk. If I'm gonna get a plant milk, this one is my favorite. The coconut. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, coconut and almond. Yeah, I like this one. Marinara, Greek yogurt, sour cream, butter, bread and butter pickles, which we love for burgers. And I got this Memphis barbecue sauce. We're gonna do like a pulled pork. Sliced almonds, mozzarella, I need some deodorant. Bacon, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, which was a substitution. I usually get a different one, but that's fine. Some little yogurts for lunches. Apples, bananas, avocado, which they didn't have banana or avocado at the farmer's market. Cilantro, 
bread products, hot dog buns, because I also got some hot dogs, these deli rolls, tortilla chips, and he subbed these for goldfish, which is fine. These little baby bells, some cocoa, heavy cream, ginger root, and vanilla extract. Needed some spices, paprika, and turmeric, and basil, which they didn't have the dry basil, so I just got this one that's like in the little squeezable thing. It's not just basil, it has like some oil, and lemon juice, so I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. Then I got some frozen just blueberries, and then also a um, berry mix and then four things of corn because these bags are seriously so tiny it's like half the bag so rather than just get one or two I just stocked up and then maple syrup and some whole bean coffee I really like this one last time we got it so I got it again I had also had some like plantain chips on my order and I'm realizing those aren't there and I'm gonna have to check my app and just see what else was missing I mean it's fine I get it no big deal I'll just pick them up like the chicken I'm gonna need, so I'll just pick that up somewhere else. All right, so for dinner we have rice and some ground chorizo sausage with some hidden veggies inside. And then I roasted some zucchini and onions and the asparagus from my dad's garden. And those are all topped. I roasted it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I grated some fresh garlic over it and squeezed some lemon. So that is how I kind of finished them off. And then the mushrooms I roasted with olive oil, salt, and pepper and balsamic vinegar. Super delicious. So we're going to get this all plated up. <laughs> 